How was the uh, first day of practice? It went well. Um, overall, I thought execution was pretty sharp. Um, we've had a we've had some time to spend with the guys uh, this spring. Obviously, leading up to this point, uh, installing, getting ready for this point, you know, getting ready for this practice. But overall, I thought things were pretty sharp. There's always details. You know, on the first day, there's tons of details uh, that you've got to get better at. But overall, he was pleased with it. Are these guys on schedule where you'd, where you'd like them to be? Or are they behind schedule? Oh, I don't even know yet. I think it's just kind of day one, first year of a program. You know, um, but I'll tell you what, I, our attitude is, is we're, we're, not making, we're not making that excuse. I mean, me saying that, I just caught myself that, you know, year one doesn't matter, okay? It's about going and winning ball games. It doesn't matter whether it's year one, year two, year three, year four. It's always the same. It's about going and winning. So um, I thought for the first day, I thought it was really, I thought it was pretty sharp. I thought it was, um, it, it, it went pretty good. And I thought execution was pretty sharp for a first day of a spring practice. Can you talk about balancing your evaluations of these guys as individuals and then as a group of five, which they're ultimately going to have to become by the time the season starts? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, really when you're talking about individuals, you're really talking about um, guys, number one, knowing their assignment, but then two, when you really drill down into it's like a lot of, you know, guys wouldn't be out there if they didn't know who to block. You, you start drilling down into how do you block people, so you start drilling down into, into their individual technique. And that's when you're measuring guys, you know, um, individually. Um, as a unit, you know, what you're wanting to, to really measure is how many times are, that you weren't on the same page or someone missed an assignment uh, or you didn't communicate things correctly. And so you're, you're, you're measuring how many times that that happened or didn't happen. And obviously, uh, the more mistakes you eliminate, the more... Um, uh, self-imposed errors you eliminate, the better off you're going to perform. And up front, it's all about consistency. It's about being there and doing your job and being in the right spot every snap. What would you say are the goals where you would like the line to be by the end of spring? Well, I just like to be executing um, uh, on a really high level. Uh, and that gets back to assignments and communication and being in the right spot, putting our bodies in the right position to have success. But really, from now until end of spring, um, you know, the thing I don't know about the guys yet, not being in pads yet, I want to see our physical demeanor and physical nature. And if that's not where it's at, I want it to get better and improve. And then uh, technique-wise, um, you know, I want to see us make strides and start getting more consistent in our technique where we can execute our technique over and over from snap one to snap seven in the game. In your experience, can physicality be taught? And how long does it kind of take to kind of give a line that kind of identity? I think physicality can be taught because I think you can inspire guys to play more physical. Um, I think you can challenge guys to play more physical. And then I think you can show guys what truly what finish and playing at a physical next level really is. Um, and, and demonstrating that form and then you demand it. Um, but this is just the way we play at SC. And so, yes, how long it takes, I don't know. It's different for every guy. Um, but I think you can accomplish some of those things. I think you become a more physical unit, you know, in a, in a block of time, like a, a spring practice or a fall practice as you're leading up to uh, the season. What's your wear at, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Brett, how did you feel about the first day with Lincoln Riley running the ship? Yeah, it was great. Uh, I think, you know, there's a ton of energy around and the guys were working really hard during winter conditioning, changing our bodies and, you know, finally cut loose and get, get some football in. So uh, I think everyone was pretty excited, a little nervous, but uh, it went really well and we played with high energy and, um, you know, just the start of something great. What's what have been the biggest differences on and off the field so far under Coach Ryan? Yeah, I, I think uh, just, you know, trying to build a, a winning culture and, um, you know, just implementing it, learning it, um, you know, get, getting uh, leadership classes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just building that camaraderie and uh, uh, obviously, you know, on the field, just trying to, trying to be the best player you can. And uh, with Coach Wiley, you know, be in the best shape possible and transform our bodies. Brad, what's been your impression of Caleb so far? Yeah, he's great. Um, you know, obviously a tremendous talent on the field. Um, you know, but in the locker room, he's, he's a great guy, great leader, uh, fun to be around, uh, high energy, and, um, you know, a, a great guy. What have you noticed about him that makes him a great leader, at least what you've seen so far? Yeah, I think he's, uh, you know, has that sort of confidence you want in a, in a quarterback and um, that sort of swagger, but, but not cocky. and. Uh, you know, you know, you know that he's gonna, you know, lead you on the field, and um, so he just brings that kind of, you know, that uh, 
personality and, and uh, that's going to lead you to wins. What's the dynamic been like with so many new guys in the locker room this spring? Yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, one of the most interesting rosters probably in America, you know, with so many transfers and uh, new guys. So it's, it's definitely been uh, a big change, you know, seeing so many different faces around the facility. But, um, you know, that's, that's one of the big changes is just, you know, building that culture and, uh, you know, getting as close as possible, as fast as possible. And uh, we're going to do that through hard work and we're going to do that through doing the right things off the field and, and on the field. So uh, that's been a big stress and just building everyone to be leaders and building everyone up. How what different is this offense compared to what you guys ran last year? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely uh, uh, definitely more uh, intricate and uh, demanding. So, um, you know, there's a ton of different plays and schemes and um, you know, we're, we're going to have to work hard to, to nail it down and just be, you know, perfect. But um, it's, a, it's a great playbook, and I'm excited. What would you say are the areas of emphasis for the offensive line through the rest of the spring? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, just, you know, number one, obviously, is, is getting the communication, getting all the plays correct. Um, you know, that's huge as an offensive line. You know, if one guy's messing up, it's going to destroy the play. So I think it's just getting everyone all on the same page, uh, learning the plays, you know, number one. And then, you know, kind of once we get that is just playing hard, playing fast and being more physical and uh, just, be, you know, demanding perfection almost at that point. So um, I think uh, definitely just, you know, learning the plays and communications first. I know. Yeah, I mean, he's a great guy, great, great minded coach. Um, you know, he cares about culture and he's, he's going to build that up for us. And, uh, you know, he means business. Um, you know, when he walks in the room, you know, everyone respects him and um, he's a pretty commanding presence. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's he's been awesome. What have you guys done to try to establish that culture? And, you know, some areas that may have been lacking last year. What have you guys done this offseason? Yeah, we've uh, we had uh, someone named Tim Pythe, who's like kind of like a culture ship, culture um, teacher. Uh, you know, we've had a few team meetings and sessions with him and, um, you know, just learning, you know, um, talking about it, you know, putting it on paper. And then as players, we got to believe it, and, you know, put it in our heads and then move it to our hearts kind of and just really believe it and put it out on the field. So, um, you know, just talking about it as a team more openly and holding, holding each other accountable and just things like that, you know, it starts little wins start to build up. What's the challenge of building chemistry on a team like this where you said it's so interesting, so many new guys in, so many new guys, so many guys yeah. out? Kind of what's the challenge of building chemistry? On? Yeah, I, I think just, you know, at the limited time, you know, they come in and, um, you know, you got less than a year to just develop a relationship. And uh, But, you know, like I said, we're going to do it through holding each other accountable, trusting each other. Um, and just building it off the field and on the field. And, um, but it, it really just starts with trust and just you know, getting that relationship to where, you know, on the field you're going to know that he's going to do the right thing. What stands out about Coach Henson so far? Yeah, uh, he's been great, uh, super fun, uh, great guy. Uh, obviously, we haven't had a ton of time with him, you know, with, they were busy recruiting and all that. But um, he's a technician, and uh, he, he really details every play. Uh, he goes through every person and, and just really is, uh, is is a technician in that standpoint. Um, so I think the O line is going to uh, learn a ton uh, in that regard this spring and just really just the small details to play offensive line are super important and that's something he really emphasizes.